So here we go with our next contest. Fought under KWU Asenshi Full Contact Rules, which is K1 for the uninitiated. Fought at plus 95 kilograms. We have from the Ivory Coast, Ollie Rowland, who actually looks like he's been chiseled from black stone. What a specimen. And he comes against the Romanian Sebastian Lutaniuk, who is, well, dare I say it, the opposite in condition. However, Lutaniuk is 12 years younger than the Ivory Coast fighter. And I'm joined here in the commentary desk with another legend, a Kyakashenkai and K1 superstar from Australia, Sam the Man Greco. Sam, what an honor it is to be here. And I noticed you trimmed your hair after seeing me yesterday. You get right down to the bone. Well done, sir. I did indeed. If I'm going to fit into this commentary box, I thought I'd better do exactly the same. So here we are, and well. Ollie just really winding him up here. And you can see right early on the power from the Ivory Coast fighter. But give full credit to the Romanian. Oh, most definitely, most definitely. No look, fear. I mean, you look at the two bodies and they're quite the opposite. But uh, don't ju never judge a book by its cover. Well. And youth could play a factor. You know, when you're as muscular as uh, Ollie Rowland, you know, that lactic acid can take its toll. So let's see what his conditioning is like. Oh, a stiff low kick there. It's nice both low kicks. Both guys are really trading hard. They're acknowledging the fact that they're trading hard. And this is what's going to make a great fight here today. Referee just warning both guys with those low kicks. They're probably too low. And actually, both these guys, let's ignore their, um, their physiques. Uh, for the second, they've both got huge credentials as champions. Most definitely, and uh, they're both trading out. I mean, it's just unbelievable just watching how technical these guys are. Everything's just a timing game for them both. Well, what? what? Awesome. Oh, nice left hook there by Roland. Roland's technique is wonderful. Yeah, he really winds up on it, puts everything behind it. Just switched to south ball. I thought he'd go for a body keep, and that's exactly what he did. Yeah. And the Romania, Lutania, took it very well. Took it very well, but answer back. Oh, there's a nice left hook there by the Romanian. It's a beautiful trade-off by both guys. This is what makes an interesting fight, that it plays, it's like a chess game here. They're just trying to work each other out, but trying to make each other make a mistake and make each other pay. And what fascinates me is, and I know from experience, we expect um, the muscular, chiseled fighter to come out on top against someone who's perhaps a little bit chubby. But we know, as you said, don't judge a book by its cover, but if the Romanian comes out victorious, especially by knockout, this crowd will go bonkers. <laughs> It'll absolutely raise the roof here. Yeah. Absolutely raise the roof. It's a beautiful kick there by Roland. Nice low kick. He's targeting, he's targeting the Romanian's uh, front leg there. Yep. Nice trade off there with an overhand right by the Romanian. Yeah, Lutania can't take too many of those uh, front low kicks. That'll slow him down, that'll stop him stepping in, and if he wants to counter, It'll stop him doing so. There's a little bit of blood on the left shin of the Romanian as well. He's got very quick hands. Very quick hands, Sebastian, there from Romania. Very End quick. of the first round. And Lutanio goes back to his corner, smiling. He's enjoying himself. Well, you know what they say when you start enjoying it, especially in the fight game, you're a very dangerous person. Well, yeah, or yeah, or well, let's change his name to Lunatic instead of <laughs> Lutanio. Um, but I'm going to give that first round to the Ivory Coast fighter, chiseled in stone, Ollie Rowland. So that's a 10-9. However, I will say that the effort he put into those techniques, you can see he's breathing heavy in his corner. And if the lactic acid takes over, he could slow right down. And fitness plays a major role here. So, uh, you know, he came out, you know, Ollie came out in that first round giving everything and probably left nothing left in the tank. Who knows? It's yet to be seen in the second round. And uh, the Romanian might come out technically and put one on Nolly, but yet to be seen. This is a very technical fight.
Very calculated, I should say. And they've both got power. They, they've, they've both got finishing power. So let's see. Oh, nice little chopping left hook there. Very quick hands. He's very skilled, uh, the Romanian. 22 years of age, he's got a multitude of titles under his belt. And obviously through that, that experience that he's got, he's showing it tonight. Both guys are showing it. They can stand and trade off and they're quite accurate. Beautiful like, check there by the Romanian. Like you said, Sam, this is very technical, great kickboxing. Yeah, as you saw then, the Romanian, rather than, rather than attack the inside left, inside uh, front leg, he's attacked the rear leg. Which you oh. saw in the last fight also was yeah. a big plus. Yeah, he switched into the heavyweight, switched from the front leg to the lead leg. Uh, sorry, the rear leg. Rear leg. Now, the work rate of Roland has slowed down. It definitely has. Both fighters have slowed down now. I think, you know, it, it is definitely, there's a bit of a low kick there, but it's definitely is going to be a chess game here. It's going to be about making you miss, making you pay. As you, as you see, as you see, Roland's just switched to Southpaw. He's staying in Southpaw at the moment. Wow. This is fascinating. Halfway through the second round, and both guys are tired, but the, but the work rate has been very high. <coughs> but the work when, rate, you're, go ahead. I'm just going to say, <laughs> when, some, when you're that muscular, it's very difficult to get a second win. You seize up. But when you're um, of the build of the Romanian, you can get a second win. I'll tell you, there's a little weakness here, and it's got nothing to do with anyone, but the weakness I see here is just Roland's dropping his guard now. He's tight, he's dropping his guard. He's vulnerable to get caught with a straight left or a right. As you see, he's getting clobbered over the top. He's just really got to be careful. You see it there and getting countered with a left hook, perhaps. Mm. Leaves his hands low. But Lutaniuk's got a... Well, if, if um, Roland throws a punch and drops his hands afterwards, Lutaniuk can roll in and counter. Most definitely, and he's, he's, he's actually, he's got a nugget type body. He's very, he's very dense and throws his whole body behind his punches. <laughs> a nugget type. A nugget. It's the only thing I can think of right now. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, we said it here first at Century 19. And that's a compliment, ladies and gentlemen, not an insult. If you get described as having a nugget type body, Sam Greco coined it. There so, it is there. Last 10 seconds of the second round, and Lutaniot coming back strong. Yeah, Lutaniot's trying to land. He, he, he can see that, that Roland's actually just dropping his guard and getting tired. You know, the most interesting thing, and you know, even that round there, Lutaniot looked really, really good compared to what uh, all, all of them. But at the end of the day, you know, it's how the judges see it, not the way we well, see it, it's the way the I, judges see it. I completely agree. However, <laughs> I'm going to put you on the spot. Because the first round, I think, clearly was a 10-9 to the blue corner. Ollie Rowland from the Ivory Coast. But I am going to say, wow, that second round was very, very close on points. And but I think because Ollie Rowland slowed down, I'm going to give that second round to the red corner. I'm going to give it to the Romanian. I don't know if you agree, Sam. Uh, um, I've, I've, uh, you, I've, you've I've learned over the years I've, not to give an opinion. I'm not to give an opinion on this. <laughs> I'm just going to let that one just wow. go by. Wow. Well, it's good to see. We've Is got you, three minutes left. This is going to be interesting. Fitness is going to play a big, big part in this round. You know, this is just a tactic to get a bit more of a rest, I guess. Well, yeah. It could be, but all the time you're resting, your opponent's resting. That's exactly right. Man, this is absolutely fascinating now. Third round of this round. heavyweight contest. 22 years old, Lutaniak from Romania takes a shot early on. He's fighting the 34-year-old chiseled specimen from the Ivory Coast, Ollie Rowland, who looked like he was going to come out in the first round and overpower the Romanian. But it wasn't the case. 
No, not at all. Look, you know, the Romanian looks still very, very composed. You know, we're early into the third round. You know, whoa! It was a nice little short little left hook there. I must admit, the ring is a bit slippery in there, so at times. Don't stop. I think his finger might have come out of the glove then. Or oh, he's got to pull it up. Yep. Yep. As you can see, here we go. Not too much rest for you there, Ollie. Well, if, that was, come again. if that was Tyson Fury, he'd have kept it like it <laughs> yeah, and, true. and done something weird. Yeah. But there's no unfair play here at Senchi. Ollie's looking for that jumping knee. He's trying to set up for it. And I'd like to see Lutaniuk low kick Ollie Rowland, but man, it's so difficult with a three round fight. Nice combination from the Romanian. Like you say, 22 years of age, very composed indeed. Yeah, very, very composed. They've been both on the trading side and on the receiving end of some big punches, but withstanding everything and both being composed. My only concern really was with Ollie in the second round that he was dropping his hands. He actually looks better in this round. And just as I said that he's fallen over, so... Yep. <laughs> As I said to you, the ring is slippery you jinxed in there. Him. Yeah, it's a funny canvas, very thin, like a nylon material. It's not so much slippery, but the actual canvas is moving. So that's something perhaps that we need to address. And especially with ankle guards on, you've got material on material, it is quite slippery. So we're coming up to one minute left. And if it carries on like this, it's an interesting sort of... Inside. I think it was an outside crescent kick. Well, yeah. Of sorts. Yeah. Um, That's just caught the glove. Didn't catch him on the head. I'll tell you what's going to be fascinating, Sam, is if this goes to a fourth round. Most, li most well, likely. This is the way I'm looking at it. But yet again, I, I'm not the judge. There's some nice combinations there by the Romanian. I think if it does go to a fourth round, it's really going to fall it, into the favor of Sebastian Lutaniuk from Romania. And but his corner are going to have to give him a very good talking to at the end of this round. 30 seconds left of the third round. And really, for, for guys plus 95 kilograms, the pace has been great. The pace has been excellent, actually. You know, compare, obviously, compared to the first round, it has to slow down a bit. Beautiful right hand there by the Romanian. Nice body shot there by the Romanian. Yeah, two left hooks. Yeah, nice right hook. He's catching him on the spot. This is what we want. This is what the Romanian needs to and, finish off. He needs and to it's finish gonna, strong. It's going to shine in the judges' eyes at the end of the round. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be interesting the way the judges see this. Come on, I'll put 10 euros on it. Fourth round or not? What do you think? Did I tell you I'm broke? <laughs> <laughs> well, OK, you got out of the bet. But, um, man, I, I, I mean, Listen, I don't want to influence anybody, and uh, we want to keep this all fair and above board, but I would love to see a fourth round to I decide think, this and one. And I think you might be right. Um, well. I think you might uh, be right. Uh, listen, on, I'll, I'll tell you what I think. On my, on my scorecard, I've got it 28-29 to the Romanian. To the red wow. corner. That's on the granite scorecard. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening, that's unofficial. Yep. Until yep. we hear it straight from the, jo the judges. Absolutely. Scorecards. So don't get excited as yet because we, <laughs> we might see a fourth we round here. And here we go. The judges. Good Lord, the Romanian it raising his hand. A split decision. A split decision. Judge number one, 28 to 29 in favor of the red corner. Judge two, 29 to 29 as a draw. Ooh. And judge three, 28 to 29 in favor of the red corner. Well, well there Sebastian. you go. You're there right you go. on the money. You're well, on the money, and I take my hat off to you for calling that. I thought it was probably a little bit closer than that, but never mind. Like I said, I'm not the judge. I'm only a retired fighter. <laughs> but a handsome one at that, Sam. Oh, God. You know. I got a great head for radio. That's about <laughs> it, mate. <laughs> but listen, we've said it before. We'll say it again. We give our opinion here on the, on the uh, commentary box. 
but there's three judges and that's for a reason and they're on three different sides of the canvas gives them a great view and we pull those three scorecards together to give a fair and good decision and that's what's happened i don't think that's unfair um, as i say the crowd loved it because the visual underdog came through but man at 22 years of old age he was composed he took some punishment, especially those low kicks. Oh, he took some early, early punishment, on. didn't he? Good Lord. Bravery, composure, and a very mature fighter for 22 years of yeah, age. Yeah, most indeed. And as I said, don't ever judge a book by its cover. If you did have to judge a book by its cover, you thought Ollie would have won this. Okay. But definitely not. And the remaining came home strong, came home when he needed to come home to score those, you know, score uh, the, the, um, the decision in the judges' eyes. Yes. Albert.